It finally happened. The unbelievable. The impossible. A gift from the big booty insect goddess herself. Sleep Token has done their first ever interview. And not with me. What the f***? But with Drumio. Love Drumio. They're great. That's fine. All right. So we got the we got Darth Vader voice on here. Well, to all of you out there watching, this is going to be a really special Drumio live feature because mm. this is the first recorded video interview that any member of Sleep Token has ever done. And we're honored that two has decided to do this with us. Mm -hmm. So welcome here. Thanks for tuning in. And for any of you who don't know who two is, he's a founding member and the drummer for the anonymous band Sleep Token. And they just put out a brand new album this year called Jeez. Take Me Back to Eden, uh, which is one of my personal favorites. I also can't wait for people to like watch this video and do like, they'll probably take his actual like voice edited, like the Darth, Darth Vader voice and reverse engineer it to hear his real voice. Like that's how people, how intense people will go for this. Albums of this year of 2023. They'll pull some CIA I highly shit, recommend yeah. you go check it out because it's unreal and two's playing is incredible. Inside of our membership, we have thousands of songs. Yeah, just, homies, homie knows. He was like, holy f I got the sleep token interview. Holy f Let's go. Let's go. So from the drums, you can hear lots of influences just in your playing. You can hear rock, metal, electronic music. Uh, how do you apply all of this within your drum parts? I've always personally taken a lot of inspiration. Okay. Guys, holy shit, breakthrough. He's British. He's Brit. He might be Darth Vader British, but he's fucking British, mate. And from the UK dance music scene, um, listening to the various subgenres of drum and bass specifically. He's super um, British. Incorporate stylistic traits from those genres into my vocabulary as a drummer. I try to work on not always using the same phrases. It's very posh. Very fancy sound. Very well spoken. Those phrases in the same voicing to ensure the parts remain somewhat interesting. Mm. However, this in, in itself is a continual work. I mean, he's him. British. Maybe he's Chris Turner. Could you imagine? I mean, I've never seen Chris Turner and Sleep Token 2 in the same room together. I'm also a big fan of R&B and pop, hmm. which has worked its way into my play. I grew up primarily playing metal. Nice. Nice, bro. So the next obvious step for me was to blend these other styles in amongst heavier playing to add versatility to my drum part. I feel like, like, I don't know, like, if, if, if he's that, if he's so intensely British, I feel like, do they need the Darth Vader voice? I don't think people will know what's happening. It's fine anyways. Accents on the kids. I sometimes use the vocal line as a guide of sorts to dance in between what's being sung to filling in those Darth gaps, Vader. if you will. Yeah. That's cool, bro. Technically approach. speaking, songs don't start from a particular drum part, although this isn't necessarily deliberate. Another element I look for hmm. when writing are any specific syncopation. Yeah. Bro, this dude is so wild with his syncopation and like his specific accents and grooves too. He is he is an incredibly groovy drummer that, like he mentioned, works very well with the vocal parts and makes it so it looks like... It sounds like he, him and the vocalist are more in synergy out of anything. Like, the drum parts and the vocals, even more than, like, guitar parts. Guitar is almost like a support, whereas, like, drum is almost lead with the vocals, with the vocals obviously being more of a lead. Drums must match. This, this could be a, a 
pattern on the guitar, a breakdown of sorts. Mm. Something. He said it. He said the word breakdown. I'm half voice. I've always been a big Eric Moore fan. Okay. And and, and gospel drummers in general. Damn. I didn't but expect I think gospel I'm drummers. From a couple of I call them Eric's licks. Um, He's an intense smoker. Playing, yeah. Um, as an example, sure. I use an eighth note linear phrase, which which is played as right, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. Okay. That, along with a phrase called the three one. Three, two. All right, now he's doing uh, drum calculus. I don't know what the f is happening, brother. Where's zero, one, and zero, two? Which is a triplet phrasing of nine notes. Played as right, left, right, kick, right, left, right again on the hands, and then finished with two notes on the kick. What I particularly like. I mean, mother I had to be good at math. He built the whole Death Star, so like I get it, but like holy shit. I'm a big fan of the standard paradiddle. Yeah, I use fun name. this as a chop starter. Often he talks very as... slow. Probably for the voice changer to keep up. You think so, or you think he just talks like that? So when you're performing live with Sleep Token, do you try to stay true to the record, or are you actually taking quite a few creative liberties uh, in the live set? I wonder if I watch this sped up, if it's going to show his real voice. You guys ready? I'm going to watch this like slightly sped up. Certain parts in each song must remain true to the original. Bro, this, what the f is he talking at half speed? I put it to 1.5. This sounds normal now. This could be a syncopated guitar part or even an electronic part on the pads that serves more of a... This is 1.5 speed. Why, why am I... Why am I such a stupid idiot watching it at one speed? Watch this shit at 1.5. Supporting role within the song. <laughs> okay, when it gets into the song, it's really funny though. So who are some of your favorite drummers who have influenced your playing over the years? Joey Jordison, Matt from the band Mudbang. Yo, Joey, okay. Tony Royster Jr., Eric Moore, Thomas Bridging. Slowing down, simply slowing down YouTube videos in a feeble attempt to understand their concepts. Okay, their so we can guess his age because he knows where the function on YouTube is to make it slower. So we can guess that he's 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 probably, you know, maybe maybe earlier 30s, like 20 to 30s. Um, we can kind of guess his his age. We know he's British, okay? So we're, 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 we're starting to hone down who is who is two. These days. I'm going to describe my playing style as a mixture of that signature eight coming hand of Deftones inspired. Damn! Heavier sort of breathing. Ah, okay, Deftones. I see, yeah. We know where we, they get their vibe from. A linear style gospel influence. Well, that's going to conclude this stream with two from Sleep Token. Two, thank you for being here and uh, sharing your insights into Sleep Token's music. And with that, we're going to close with uh, some final pieces of music from Sleep Token, and I'll leave this one to two. Take care, everyone. That was cool, man. This is number 14 on trending. Oh, <laughs> uh, damn, yo, that was cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't expect them to just honestly at this point ever do an interview. So, like, Dromeo is great. It claps to Dromeo for making it happen. There's, you could tell, there's no way that he wasn't like, holy, f we got the guy. Here's go, go, go show Dromeo the love. This was awesome. Yo, Sleep Token, let's do a fing interview. You guys know I pitched to, to Sleep Token that they can come on the stream for a Friday stream. And literally, all they have to do is do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. He didn't even need to talk. We didn't need to throw on Darth Vader voice, bro.